Welcome everyone to Gamer Meld. Today I've got a ton of exciting stories, starting with motherboard support for Intel's 11th gen processors, AMD's new Ryzen 3 gets amazing overclocks, Nvidia's next gen Ampere was spotted, it's based on 7 nanometers, and desktop Ryzen 5000 will get all the new tech. But first, get the free-to-play sensation that's now on PC with today's sponsor, Raid Shadow Legends, the dark fantasy RPG that's got it all, from clan boss battles to campaign with tons of champions to collect along the way. You can even challenge yourself in the ongoing tournaments where you'll compete against the entire Raid community. And coming this month is the new Arena Tournament with the chance to win some awesome rewards. So what are you waiting for? Go to the video description, click on the special link, and if you're a new player you'll get 100,000 silver and a free awesome champion. Grumbler. Okay, it's news time and first up for today, as many of you know, Intel's 10th gen processors were recently announced. And if you followed the channel, you already knew about their updated LGA 1200 socket. With it means you'll have to purchase a new motherboard if you plan to pick up a 10th gen processor. Luckily, if you do take the plunge, you won't be forced to do it again for 11th gen. During a live stream by Gigabyte, they stated this. Uh, well, Z490 motherboards support 11th gen Intel Rocket Lake. Um, yes. <laughs> I'm not sure if I could say that, but uh, yes. <laughs> Basically, that says it. While I'm sure Intel will release a new chipset, the upcoming Z490 will still support their 11th gen processors. Thank you, Intel. Next up for today, AMD's new entry-level Ryzen 3 processors look to have some serious overclocking potential. It's likely due to the fact that these are only 4 core processors, though you would think they're fairly binned. Of course, the 3300X does have a fairly high boost. Either way, the story originally comes from resident leaker RO Game, who found and shared a few 3D Mark benchmarks of the new processors. First up, we have the 3300X, which has a small all core overclock of 4.4 GHz. But believe it or not, the 3300X isn't the overclocking champ here. It's actually the 3100, as RO Game found benchmarks of the CPU running an all-core overclock of 4.4 GHz, 4.5 GHz, and even 4.6 GHz. Yeah, an all-core overclock of 4.6. That's impressive. And don't forget that Intel's similarly priced i3s aren't even able to overclock. So if most Ryzen 3100s can even get near this, AMD's new Ryzen 3 could be a budget champ. Next up for today, NVIDIA's next-gen DGX AI workstation was just spotted in the Justia trademark database. What's interesting here is the name. It's called DGX A100, which is somewhat of a new naming scheme because previous DGX models are called DGX1 and DGX2. Of course, this is great because it essentially helps confirm that it's built from NVIDIA's GA100 GPU. That's of course likely for Ampere, which technically hasn't been fully confirmed, though with the GTC announcement hint, it very likely was going to be that. Whether that means the recent rumor on the 3080 Ti is true or not is tough to say. Either way, we'll probably learn quite a bit more at NVIDIA's upcoming GTC event, so make sure to subscribe to find out more when that happens. Speaking of next-gen NVIDIA GPUs, in a story originally reported by China Times, you can see that they claim NVIDIA's next-gen and peer GPUs are to be manufactured on TSMC's 7 nanometer process. Of course, we've more or less assumed NVIDIA would be moving to 7 nanometers, but there hasn't really been too many reports claiming for sure. When it comes to them being by TSMC, China Times is a bit confusing. Or should I say Google Translate of China Times is confusing. While they mention TSMC's 7 nanometers almost as a matter of fact, when we go down to the bottom of the story, it seems as if they don't know for sure whether it'll be based on TSMC's 7 nanometer process or another foundries. Either way, 7 nanometers is going to be a decent node change from their current 12 nanometer process in Turing. The question then becomes whether AMD can continue to compete with RDNA 2 still set to be on 7 nanometers. I mean, look at what NVIDIA was able to do on 12 nanometers from 14. Then again, architecture is very important and AMD is promising a pretty big jump in performance, so maybe they'll be able to compete. Time, as always, will tell. Lastly for today, I've got a story that's a few days old, but something I've really been wanting to cover. It originally comes from Gamers Nexus, who were reportedly shown an AMD roadmap from a previously verified insider. 
Unfortunately, they don't show us the roadmap, but according to them, it shows that AMD's Ryzen 5000 desktop CPUs will support next-gen DDR5 RAM as well as USB 4.0. Remember that desktop Ryzen 5000 is AMD's Zen 4 based processors built on TSMC's 5 nanometer process. According to the roadmap, it's not set for launch until 2022, but considering 4th gen isn't expected until late this year, that could be why. Of course, with all of this said, as Gamers Nexus mentions, this is more of an internal roadmap, so things are subject to change. Either way, it shows that AMD plans to continue being early adopters of new standards just as they did with PCI Express 4.0. So while that does it for today, what did you think of the news? Excited for Ryzen 5000 or what about Nvidia's upcoming GPUs? Let me know down in the comments below. And if you liked the video, please subscribe. And as always, have a great day.